What's the, uh, where did you guys get this tape? Uh, that was my dad's film. Or, it was my dad's film. He filmed uh, a lot of films, a lot of 8mm films in his day. He had cameras uh, before other people had cameras. And it wasn't, uh, it was 16 millimeter. He never had 8 millimeters like we have today. He had oh, 16. 16? Well, that must have been pricey to get the, those and I, developed. And you and wound it up like this and then played it through. Yeah. Now, I wonder it runs kind of fast sometimes. Yeah, yeah it, it used to click. I hear that clicking so well. It didn't have batteries that ran, that uh, innervated it. Did you, when did you watch these movies, Mom? Did you watch them in your oh, basement we like we did? Time. Not in the basement, because we didn't have a great basement, but we used to watch them in the living room and my dad would At night? Yeah, any time. Sundays. Whatever. Instead of going to the movies. Instead of going to the movies, you'd have the movies come to you? Right. My dad also had, you know, like one of the first televisions, a little 10-inch television when it first came out in a beautiful big box. Yeah. They all gathered around. Even, but did they have a Best Buy back then? <laughs> he sounds like uh, a lot like us. <laughs> Just loves technology. Yeah. Well, he did. Yeah. And, of course, I guess he had a few bucks more than some people, so. Oh, that's right. He used it generously, huh? Oh, you bet. It, My dad was a believer in giving away generosity. He was he did, a, he did an awful lot for his fam, for his wife's family. Grandma, bet, Grandma Dalton. All right. Well, let me put the movie on. You guys could just tell us about because we're going to... You know a lot of the people better than we do, so... It's really hard for me to see now. I'm hoping I can see good. You know what I'm going to do? Is... That's Grandma. There's Grandma on the beach. Grandma back, Grandma back, my mother. My, my dad. Or Uncle Rich and me with the hair. And Mary Catherine and Ann and... They're all Grandpa jumping Dal all over Grandpa Father Rich. Grandpa Dalton there. there there's Uncle Rich with everybody. He <laughs> loved those kids. Climbing on him. There I am with Aunt Pat, my little sister, five years younger. There's the old street in front of the cottage. You can tell how dark I got then. I can't figure out why. There's a lot of old that's cars me, in this uh, picture, though. That's me in this car. <laughs> this was Dick's first communion, I think. Yeah. No, that was Bobby there. Bobby's, yeah. Yes. Wow, first Bobby's. communion for Bobby. That was, it was color, too. So what year would Bobby have been first communion? Um, well, he was 10 you know years younger than I was. He was 10 years younger than I am. So I would have been, what, in the first grade and... First communion, like 35? I'd say around yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. That was my mother's garden. She that, look at me in the cape. God, I wore weird clothes. <laughs> I guess I was old before my time. I was always a mother. All my cousins were a little younger than I was, so I was kind of a motherly one. I'd Maybe guide them all around. The Yeah, my mother had beautiful gardens. Well, this was the neighbors, too. The neighbor by us, the Werners, had beautiful gardens. Somebody the really too. did an elaborate job on their garden. Yeah, my mother had Yeah, I was always impressed by her mother's uh, garden in the backyard there. Boy, it never looked so good. That kind of blurs. Now, this might be Dick's. Yeah, there's Dick right there. Yeah, there's Dick on the other side there, yeah. That's the old St. James School. They all got their hands folded. I don't know where they got that idea. Oh, that's <laughs> Monsignor Lefevre, my first pastor. He might like to see these at St. James sometime. Yeah. Yeah, you could put these in a historic can for Grand Rapids. There's a lot of good Grand Rapids. Yeah, this is early stuff, right? Let's see, it did go to Yeah. About 30... 1930 around that, maybe Dick made his first communion. I'm just thinking when you made, you know when you made there yours? There's a scenic trail uh, going up to... up north. That's like Sleeping Bear has a scenic trail. That maybe they're doing up there. Well, this uh, not that far up. This was all along Muskegon and all along the water. There'd be places to stop and have lookouts, and we'd drive up during the summer once and 
This looks like it would be even cooler weather. They have dressed with hats and things. One of those breathtaking scenes the cameraman uh, just can't keep it off. Well, that's Aunt, uh, Mary Catherine, Ann Manning and Pat, Aunt Pat. That's Dick and that's me. That's Mary Catherine too. These are our cousins from Lansing. We spend a lot of time with them when we were kids. Spend a lot of time with them now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like to keep in touch with them. Is that Ann sitting there? That's Ann. Yeah. yeah. Pat. This section reruns, doesn't it? The, I think it did. Did there. we? Is this the second yeah, time through? Yeah, there it is. See, I don't know how that happened. How those guys did that with our did you give this tape to everybody in your family then? You had it made? All, uh, yeah, Pat and I and Dick and Bob had them. Mm -hmm. and, and Grandpa had a lot more films, but we never, we didn't do them all. He had tons of film. Boy, we could do this with some of our film. It would take a long time oh, to do it. Yeah, today you'd have so much, wouldn't you? <laughs> Pat's a cute little girl. Yeah. Was she the baby or was Bob's younger than her? Bob's, Bob's younger a baby. She was. I think this is Michigan Stadium here. Yeah, that was Michigan. Ohio. Michigan playing Ohio. They did that during the halftime. Boy, that looks crowded, doesn't it? That must have been a big affair. Yeah, Boy, when did they not have crowds of 100,000 in there? They <laughs> always show that stuff. Bigger than more than it is now. Fielding H. Yost was a wizard. He built this all underground. My dad used to be interested in things like this, too. He'd go and follow sports, different places and things, and take films like this. They must have, the hats were all interchangeable. <laughs> Looks like they're throwing to each yeah, Hopefully there was only one size hat back then. <laughs> I think they just made a touchdown. They're kicking off now. I think that probably was a band tear, don't you? Doing that, and they probably just tossed them around and got them back again. Oh, that's an idea. Who would want to throw their personal hat like that? Yeah, because they all look like white hats or something, same kind of hat. You think they have the M on them, like uh, all the athletic wear today? On the top? I think so. I don't think I saw any. You can sure tell the referee. He's There's good. the Ohio band. Look how fast they're walking. <laughs> I'll have to slow that down. Yeah. Ohio. <laughs> That's a little brown jug, isn't it? When they do that one. Is that their song? Michigan and the little brown jug or Ohio? Or is that Wisconsin band? I'm talking to you. Well, I don't know. The you song? Know the little brown jug? I thought they always fought back and forth with that. Minnesota and Michigan. Minnesota? Mm-hmm. Well, here's the duck pond. That's a fishery, a fish hatchery that our class would go to to learn about, you know, how fish were raised. What school were you in again? St. James. Sure would have been a lot funnier, though, if he pushed all those kids in. <laughs> can't picture teachers taking kids out on a thing like that and expecting them not to get wet. Do you think those kids had to get waivers to go on that field trip? <laughs> wouldn't that be something? They probably wouldn't do that, dare do that it's today. It's funny how so many of the adults always had their full coats on. And Must have been cold. Must have been a lot of winter pictures here. That's my mother. Her fur cold. And then you see summer. <laughs> yeah, that's the cottage. That's in the, the front, front of there. the cottage. It's a lot different now. Oh, look at the dirty sand and everything. Yeah, it had a little stoop. She, Jenny's blocking the door. <laughs> <laughs> now this is a different cottage. Yeah, here. this is my aunt uh, Bessie's cottage over in Spring Lake, and Uncle Otto, who died of a brain tumor, quite young. And Grandma Beck would come down. That's Grandma Beck, old Grandma Beck. She'd come down and stay with him. And that's me with my hair again. Is that loud enough for pickup, you think, too? Sure. Who's that standing in front of? Is that Grandma Beck? That was Grandma Beck, my, my dad's mother. Mm -hmm. Boy, the men are always dressed up so nice. Oh, yeah, always white shirts and 
pants. <laughs> that sailor's outfit. I think that was Junie or something. <laughs> yeah, it was Junior Lundberg. He and Dick were the same age at Spring Lake. So I that suppose place your dad is, was a cameraman in all these pictures. I guess. Probably. Well, that lake's got a lot of cottages now. Oh, yeah. That cottage is right on the lake. But watch me pull up my pants here. <laughs> <laughs> Hitch them up. That's Uncle Emil. <laughs> That's Pat. Is that at the lake still? No, I don't think Oh, it, it looks like it might be. It's over by our house, I think. Yeah, that's Garfield. Look at shoes and sacks. Dog races? Uh huh. Is that what highlight is, or? No, highlight is a thing they throw. I think it. But this was yeah, the dog they get a thing that throws it. Grandma and Grandpa used to go down there in the winter, and then they go to the dog races. They bet on them. It was kind of a pastime down there. Look at even at a dog racer wearing white shirts and a dolled up. That must have been a little newer, something about it. The yeah. color. Yeah. It had to be. It didn't look like it could these don't get go, a good focus on it. Yeah, I don't think these go in right in, you know, line, do they? They go back and forth. You must have given the guy a pile of films and he, he wasn't sure how to... Film and he yeah. edited them, I think. Okay. Yeah, he did his own. It's probably hard to see some of the numbers handwritten on these things. Yeah, right. It was kind of a mirage of things. Spent a lot of time in Florida in the winter? Yeah, my grandma and grandpa did. They had friends that all went down to Hollywood, Florida. That's pretty the lake. I it was in Florida. No, it doesn't look like Florida, does it? I guess it does. Yeah, Green yeah, that's, that's a Florida house right there. Palm trees. We used to take rides around Palm Beach, West Palm Beach, and look at the beautiful homes with the Bougainvillea growing up on the Your dad must not have liked uh, cold weather. Oh, no. I don't think your mother really wanted to go, did she? Oh, there's Dick. Mm -hmm. No, my mother didn't like going to Florida. She hated to leave us. A big class there. Men in hats. Looks like they went in priest garb and now here they are in regular suits. <laughs> I think Uncle. There's Nick smiling at the camera. Grandpa's in that group of men that walked in that one scene. That was a pretty big class. Would that be St. James or down that at the... That doesn't look like St. James to me. No. I'm trying to think if that's St. Alphonsus. I would say it's St. Alphonsus. Yeah, it might be. It has to be. Yeah, because my grandpa's in this group. He's one of the last ones here. Here comes the grandpa kids. right there. Grandpa. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure who. Oh yeah, that's There's Dick's. Dick right in front on the left. Yeah. Eating the pack. I don't recognize. Oh, that's Father Weta right there. You figure Aunt Marg would have been able to name most of these people? Oh yeah, probably. She still could. 
and you don't see them wearing those little, what do you call them, berettas, those little hats anymore, <coughs> priests. You hardly wear their collars anymore. Beretta's got a bad connotation now. <laughs> Does it? With Robert. Blake. Blake. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Beretta. Is that the name <laughs> of that show? Beretta? I think it was his yeah, show. Yeah, that's right. But they were kind of cute. They were four-cornered and hard. They put them on. So cute. We were saying these people aren't used to seeing or being on moving picture film, probably. Yeah. They're just standing there kind of... Standing there like posing yeah, for a big not, not smiling for the camera or anything. <laughs> Back to winter. Basco. Mm -hmm. That's my brother Bob. Good shot. Mm -hmm. Stick it. <laughs> this must have been an ice storm. There's all those beautiful flowered bushes covered in snow. Dad was a lover of outdoor beauty and things. Yeah. He loved flowers and things like this. He'd take pictures of them all. Her dad like never called me Bob. He called me Doc. I called him Mister. <laughs> that must have been ice out there. Back now, these church. are pictures with our kids in them, no, aren't they? So. Yeah. There's Father Bolger, he was our Father principal Bolger at Catholic Father Central. And Father Dark was our principal. Father professor. O'Malley. There's Pat. It's Uncle Emil and Uncle George. They're doing a cigarette commercial there. Mm -hmm. Uncle George is my dad's brother-in-law, and he came from Chicago. They lived in Chicago. And they came up here in the summer and left. The kids stayed here. Grand Rapids is like a summer yeah, camp? Yeah, they stayed, they stayed with my grandma Beck over on the street behind us, and Dick and Junie were the same age, and they played together, and Marvin and Bob were the same age, so they played together. And Mary just went, or uh, Aunt Pat just went from being uh, about a 10-year-old down to a 3-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they got that kind of off kilter. Is that their idea, their grandpa? Grandpa Dalton. Grandpa Dalton. Wow. There's, there's Jack, the house that Jack built. Yeah, that's my dad. What did you pay for those lessons again, <laughs> for those dance lessons? <laughs> Fifty cents a half hour. <laughs> and my mother kidded because I didn't learn anything, I guess. That's father, that's a priest there. Yeah, that might be Uncle Frank or Rich. That's up on the corner of Dalton's house. Oh, yeah. The car is speeding by about 18 miles an hour. We'd never throw snow at the priest now. Oh, no. Boy, Aunt Pat looks like Mary there. Yeah. Uncle we, had, Bob. we always had those muffs. My dad had those things made from the, you know, the material from the furniture. And it was all curly. The coats? Yeah. And, the, and we always had a muff with them. Put your hands in. We thought that was great. Snazzy. This, this is, is up at the house, uh, the newer house. Yeah, that's in their new house Bill. on Lake Michigan Drive. That would be in 1950. There's their this house on Valley, yeah. the old house again. This is Dalton's up at their cut house. Men always wore a hat. It's Aunt Mame and probably Mary Catherine. Mame looked a lot like your mother, I thought. Is that oh, Uncle yeah. Frank or there's Uncle Rich? Yeah, that's Uncle, Uncle Rich. Rich. He was sl there's slimmer. There's Frank behind him, yeah. There's him. Frank. Aunt Asia, Aunt Marg on the left. Those guys are great athletes, but they went to the priesthood instead. Brothers. Rich was a good golfer. Frank was good at baseball, too. They didn't get home very often. They took the vow of poverty, and when they came home, they had $10 to give their mother for their stay when they came to live with her for the holiday or whatever they came home for. Now is it your dad there? Here's your dad, right there. Yeah, that's my dad. Yeah, good, good hit. The socks were holding them back a little. <laughs> <laughs> Knickers and 
Those are the breasts in the hands. Oh, the I was in that picture, hands. Jenny. Hmm? I was in that picture just now. No, it was a breast in the hands. That's what okay. That might have been Bobby. Now, this is when Lindbergh came to town. Yeah. John, John Ball, John Ball. There's Colonel Lindbergh, 1927, just after he flew the Atlantic by himself. He was the biggest national hero I think we've ever had. He reminds me of the Kennedys a little bit, doesn't he, you? There's a little similarity because Kennedy is such a. Most, oh, that's who uh, Uncle Tom Rademacher got close to. Pictures like this with Kennedy. Kennedy. I think that's his. Somebody name. snuck right up on the podium there. I'm surprised the Secret Service know, didn't get him. Where my dad got so close like that. Yeah. I don't think they had a whole lot of. Your dad must have had connections. You think, or did he just he wander a, up there? He might have been president of the Lions Club or something at the time, and had a little pull. Or maybe he's the only one with a camera. <laughs> yeah, he might have been the only one with a camera. Yeah. Who's he holding there? It's probably Pat, I think. I'm not sure. 1927. It probably was Pat. It'd be a good challenge to There's try to order There's the girls, this. Yeah, would, among others. According to the years, it would be hard. I'm down there. There's Ginny right, right down there. So she's going to entertain him a minute. There she goes. Yeah. Feet of fire. She's given us about 75 cents worth of dancing there. <laughs> Look at the stocking that she was able to... There's Al Smith. Yeah. He didn't get elected president because he was Catholic. was Catholic. That was in Florida. We saw him standing out in his yard as we rode by. My dad went up and shook his hand and talked to him. Nice home. Mm-hmm. We were down there for a, a month when I was, I had, I just had my mastoid, my ear surgery, I think, when we went there. So I was five and a half. She just stepped in a hole there. <laughs> that was our yard there. We had that cute little cottage there. So. I don't know what this was. This must have been a hotel. This reminds me of the place we stayed that time. The Coronado. It reminds me of the Coronado area. Well, that was in San Diego, yeah. Yeah. It's like a hurricane. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. blustery there. Big strong wind, which often happens. Oh. I bet these areas are completely built up. Yeah, these are the early days. I'm sure they didn't have them. Look at they got coats on. I know he's got a coat on. This is at Grand Haven, I'm sure now. That's oh, Dick, Dick and I. It's a nice beach day. Yeah. <laughs> Bathing suits <laughs> on those women. Oh my gosh. These were orange groves in Florida. I think my two grandmas were there picking oranges, if I can remember correctly. Yeah, that's Grandma Beck there. She went with us to Florida. Would they come down on the train? Or? Yeah, we all went down on the train. Probably your dad's idea for him to come down. Yeah. Boy, a train trip to Florida took a little time, I'll bet. Got to go through Chattanooga. Three days. And this is polo. We used to go to polo games, I think, on Sundays down there. See, those guys all got polo shirts on. That's pretty exciting to watch that polo. Izods. Izods. What polo? What kind of cologne? You can almost smell them. Yeah. Ralph Lauren. There's a lot more scenes with coats on than... Winter. It was Dick and Junie pushing me around. Maybe it's because he got his new camera equipment at Christmas, and that's yeah. when he brought it out. Yeah. So I remember the hat like yesterday. Probably took most of his pictures in the wintertime. Big pom-poms on my ears, and, and it was uh, cute pink, I think, all knit. It's <laughs> mm. Aunt Kate and Uncle George and Junie. I can't believe how tall those cars were. 
This is John Ball Park uh, <coughs> skiing competition, I think it was. And we were sliding there. Did someone win that competition? I don't know. <laughs> That's Dick and I pulling the toboggan back up the hill. I must have only been about three there, four. I don't look very old. And Dick is just plowing along, <laughs> dragging me behind. <laughs> I think that's so funny. He's, he's sturdy. <laughs> I think he's pulling me up. <laughs> he made it up the hill because there they come down. Notice he put me on the back end all alone where I get the bumps. <laughs> <laughs> These are friends of my mom's and dad's. They owned a drugstore. They live in that house. They live in that house over by we go around the corner by you know, where we walk all the time. Next to Miller's house. Yeah, he's a good-looking guy here, Dad. It's up at Dalton's. Grandma Blue. Grandma Blue, would that be? Grandma Dalton. She wore blue jewelry all the time, sparkling blue jewelry. So she had flirtatious eyes, Jew. your mother. That's Dick and I and that's my a, mother at the beach. In that's Grand a cold Island. day. Yeah, it looks cold. Look at the pier. I can't sweet. believe they went down to the beach in cold weather. I think maybe that was oh, when the down. cottage was being built? It might have been. Or we were checking it. We never oh no, because Dick was Dick was uh, just born when the cottage was built. The pier has been there forever. Yeah. Yeah, that cottage is eighty-three years old. Or eighty-two. Eighty-two, yeah. My dad with a big coat and hat on. Look at Dick chewing his gum. <laughs> Riding a bike with a Lord Fauntleroy coat suit. <laughs> I was always tailing him. That's me with Grandpa Dalton. Were your neighbors wearing those kind of clothes? I don't know. It must have been. My mother had more fur coats. She had one with white fur. That's Mary Catherine. Oh, that's Uncle Bill. Manny. Oh, what a guy Uncle Bill was. He was such a nice man. Couldn't wear dentures, though. Marganesia. Mary Catherine and I. Good dressers. Well, this was Dick and Junie digging a hole in the backyard at our house there, and he throws the sand all over. <coughs> Dick was a wild kid. Right, reading the funnies. I had that little sailor coat. I kept that little sailor coat, and the, and the kids wore it. The older kids wore that. Oh, Judy looked a lot like girls. Yeah, that's Aunt Kate and that's uh, Frances Aldrich, or Aunt Bessie. He yeah, was in front of my Grand Beck's house over in Valley. You there never see kids playing Ring Around the Rosie anymore. No. They do. You ever see them there? Yeah. Very competitive nowadays. Is that? That's Mary Jean Bechtold. <laughs> that one on the right, that's Mary Jean, and that's Adelaide. She's, she spent about 20 years, 10 years in the villa, dying in the villa. Yeah. Uncle Bill just loved their Bill. kids. He just loved to play with the kids. He was such a neat guy. It's a nice bonnet. <laughs> Every time she moves, see, I moved over. That could cut into the, the fun. Yeah. <laughs> Exposing. There's <laughs> Grandpa Dalton. You don't get too many pictures of him. He died way back. That's Grandma Dalton. This is their house on Plainfield. Yeah. They had a lot of nice pictures taken in that yard. I almost built a dental office there in that yard, right where they are. There I am dancing again. I must have worn my legs out. Well, you enjoyed it for one thing. Well, now, this is Father Weta. He was a redemptress that would spend a lot of time with our family at different times. Another priest. I think well, one, hands. There I am. Oh, that's again. one of those. You had the outfit on. This for is that where one. I show my steps. There. Da, 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 that's da, training. Look at my hands. Isn't that gorgeous? That's delicate. 
sway around in a circle. Wow, playing ring around the rosy by herself. <laughs> One, two, three. That's, that's her step we do with her video. That is great. <laughs> no, you guys had opium plants that you bring? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this was picking Heather out in the fields. My dad would take rides and we picked Heather, beautiful Heather. It was all purple out there, so pretty. That's where I must have learned how to like flowers. Isn't that cute? That is a cute picture. <laughs> Back to the cottage. Even again, the old. See the cottage number 10 up there? Number 10, is that all the higher it was? Well, it looks like, you see, the hill doesn't even look big there, does it? The hill looks flattened out. <laughs> I think the hill's getting bigger. Well, I think the sun blew, the sand all blew over there. Yeah, maybe it's just gotten going it's up. It's by the wet egg, and he was, he come down with Uncle Richard. Well, look at Jim, that couldn't be that. The chimney is not there. No, that's a cross. That's, that's a lax. Oh, that's a cross, yeah. That's Catherine Minogue. No, that's the front of the cottage right there, Terry. Yeah. Wow. Those are good shots of the cottage. See the different windows we good had looking. up above? That's a good looking guy there. Yeah, the girls I think kind of liked him. They kind of flirted with him. Was... Now, this is cute because Dick throws sand right in his face. <laughs> 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 he was a suave guy. <laughs> Those are the O'Reilly's again. They and brought the dog. their dog. See? How many people would, would, could you get in those cars? Five, I wonder? I don't know. You could stack them high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, double layer seats. Uh, that blizzard was the worst visibility of the year. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's our other dog, Mac. Yeah. He's a collie. It's just before the fog uh, made German the picture Shepherd. impossible. He's I'm sure German I can Shepherd. fix this. I don't know. That was blurry like that, that time. Yeah, I don't know why they put that on there, really. Yeah, they they weren't they weren't editing it good, but they'd never put that on. Maybe that's not even your family. You just had something that looked <laughs> similar and didn't want yeah. to give it away. That's my brother Bob. Somebody shoveled that walk. Those are the kind of winners we had all the time. Look at the other bike well, out. Yeah, what are you doing with your bikes out in the winter? I don't know. <laughs> we never do that. <laughs> Oh. oh no. It's a low horse. It's a pony. It took off with whoever was on it. That's... Whoa. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh god. Probably was me flying away on that horse. <laughs> Trying to escape. <laughs> That's funny. Look like a lineup of. I think that was some of the priests and something. Where that would be? By a church. Mm -hmm. This whole series of pictures is out of focus. That's me on the left end there. I think that's that dress I had on in that picture that we got in the other room there. That yellow. With you and I, you know, and the funny dress up. This looks like faster moving. Yeah. Yeah, this part probably isn't that great to keep even on the other part. Yeah, you might want to knock this right off there. I keep it, it's cheap. I think it's Uncle, or I think it's Grandpa, something about a retreat. It's up to 34 minutes already. Is it? Okay. It's, not, it's just about over. Well, they're leaving now, so if take the camera. If you see a guy with a camera, then you know they're, they're done. Maybe you put the blurry ones at the end. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's I think that, that was some kind of a mistake, because that wasn't anything that was related to our family, actually. Well, that has a lot to do with Mom's younger days. Some of the only things She should have gone into Arthur Murray, though. I know that. <laughs> Arthur Murray taught me dancing in a hurry. <laughs> that's, that's really... Uh, not many people your age have such good video of their young no. days. In yeah. fact, I, I don't understand why if he had this video, why didn't he take videos of our wedding? I mean, if he took movies of 
earlier like that. Why wouldn't we have gotten news of our wedding? Nobody ever took pictures of our wedding like that. That's right, did it? I don't think there was, nobody wanted to pick up a camera during those events. You kind of had to yeah, roll the play. they were part of the wedding. They didn't want That's to do right, that. everybody was busy. Yeah. Well, that's good. It'd be good to see those weddings. Well, it's a good, uh... Yeah, I'd like to see this wedding. That was nice. We got one of Pat's. Pat was the first wedding we took. So, so who has the master uh, film of that? Does somebody have? Yeah, that. We have. Patch wedding? Of this video, got who's got the actual film that was used? Because there were a lot of other ones, remember? A lot well, of other films. Well, this thing that this came out of says master. But it was, you probably got it in there. But there's the original yeah, the source films. that was filmed. Yeah, that, that's right. That must be just in I storage. I got it somewhere. It, they were in a bag of a whole bunch of films, and we never edited them to find out what was on them, so I don't even know what was on them. They did a pretty good job moving it over. Well, we never yeah. had a source of a 16 millimeter film. You can't play 16. No, we never had a 16 Projectors. millimeter. Can I, although I have her dad's camera. The projector, though, you don't have. No. No. You can't you get those in a school system sometimes or something? Don't, didn't they used to have them? I don't think there's many of those around anymore. They remember, used to. I think Dan but, rented what he took one from school to show some films of Pat's, but I don't know which, what kind they were. I would say some of these places have uh, 60 millimeter cameras and projectors and everything. It might have been an 8 millimeter. Because uh, you're right, college, high schools or grade schools too probably had uh, cameras to show the kids pictures. Yeah. They were 16 millimeter. All right. Well, thanks, you guys, for the documentary. Yeah, that was fun. It takes us back in time. We'll have to put you on the specials menu in the DVD collection. Because <laughs> you're special. Yeah. Nobody like us. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> <laughs>